Hi, I'd like to say welcome to all my new subscribers. I'm really pleased to have you um, join my my journey of um, sewing, mixed media and maybe some other stuff as well. Um, this isn't actually a new project. This is something I did a couple of years ago. Um, but I thought um, it might be interesting to you. It's a little book again with some um, little quilted pages in it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you through and show you the book and then I'm going to talk about my construction. So um, this was a 100 day project, but I only got up to day 16. It was way too ambitious. I planned to make a little quilt every day and um, that was not on really. Um, the first one I made is a little sort of fantasy house with um, uh, wax rubbing. So that's a spatula. I don't know whether you can see that. Um, a spatula and that's a plate that I've got that's uh, a ceramic plate with some texture. And on day two of this project I actually bought a house through auction. So um, that kind of was one of the reasons why uh, I didn't continue as well as it being totally ambitious. Um, this is just a little applique. Uh, little hillside there. Um, this interpretation of a house was my birdhouse. Um, it's just a commercial bit of fabric and I've embroidered that thinking that that would be quick and I was wrong. This is um, a die cut um, from a card with a little cityscape and I've just rubbed something through it, can't remember what. And then I had another go with it, this time using um, foil transfer. So I rubbed the glue on and then put the foil on and I really like this one. And since that was so successful, I had another go, this time with some gilding flakes. Again, this is just a commercial fabric. And what I've done is I've um, thread painted some um, flax along the bottom here, taking it from a French style rural setting into a New Zealand style setting. This was a fun one. This is um, uh, hot glue on cardboard, drew the um, mushroom house and then uh, did a rubbing on it and then just um, machine embroidered these little flowers but hand embroidered the actual petals. I think this is probably ink tense blocks. Um, little applique cabin, painted the trees and then thread painted them. And then I thought it would be fun to have the cabin in the woods. So there's the cabin, aerial view. And this one, I think if I turn to the back here, I've got, I've actually got descriptions of what happened. So this was on, oh, this was 2016. I actually made the quilts in 2016, um, but I made the book a couple of years later. So um, there was an earthquake in Italy. And so this was one of the um, uh, streets that was quite, uh, quite famous view. And here we've got a tea bag, um, punchinella, you know, sequin waste rubbing. Um, that's, that's actually the wrong way around. I must have coloured it and pressed it in. And um, oh no, I've done. I know what I've done. I've done a rubbing on top of it, and that's an onion bag. Just a little simple applique, very colourful. So maybe a kid's Wendy house or something. And then I got on a Wendy house theme. This is actually fun foam. My perspective's all off, but one of the things I decided to do with this um, uh, this project was that I wasn't going to edit anything. And then my final one, day 16, 
um, there's this little porch and some ribbon embroidery flowers. So um, I said that I would give you a little tour of how I actually constructed it. So I made each little quilt separately and then what I've done is um, I've got rat tail here. Um, I know I've got some extra but do you think I could find it? But it's something similar to this. This is actually cord for um, roller blinds but it's something similar to that but a little bit softer and it's kind of satiny. And I've zigzagged round the two pages and then taken the rat tail and zigzagged over it. So it zigzagged twice. I don't know whether you can see that. Um, can you see that there? Was it going to focus? Uh, zigzag the two pages together and then the rat tail round it. And then for each pair of pages, I've got this ribbon, which I've then zigzagged a bit of ribbon between the two pages and uh, sewn it into the spine with a pamphlet stitch. So my book here, actually, the cover is a box, I think this was ice cream, um, cardboard box. And um, I made the fabric, sewed my little home thing on, and then glued it to the cardboard. And I made a spine, you can see the spine there. Oops, if I take my finger out of the way. Um, I've made a spine and sewn the, the signatures into the spine and then attached the spine to so that, that bit of paper is actually longer goes underneath and then put my end pages on top so these end pages are actually glued on top of the spine to hold the spine in place so that that actually is there's a gap in there although it didn't actually need to move it could have been glued down um, firmly but anyway that's my little 100 day project that turned into 16 days. Thanks for watching.